Hey everybody, in this video we're going to talk about expected value. And expected value is basically this nasty looking formula. But it's not as bad as it seems now that we're going to, we're going to break it down a little bit. So E of X, this is basically us saying that we're looking for the expected value of some random variable which we label as capital X. So it could be a random variable that we label as capital T, as capital Z, it could be any capital letter, but we tend to uh, label our random variable as a capital letter. Continuing to break this down, we know that sigma, that means the sum of something, so we're going to add together a bunch of things here. Uh, the little x is the possible values or the possible outcomes uh, of our random variable x, so that's going to be uh, those outcomes themselves. And then the P of X equaling X, that's basically the probability of getting the value of the little, the value of little X for the random variable big X. So in a previous example, we talked about uh, rolling three dice and looking at the number of sixes that we get from there. So the random variable big X would be rolling the three dice, and the little x would be the possible outcomes, getting uh, 0, 1, 2, or 3. And actually, let's look at that same idea with this next example. Uh, so we, we've got 0, 1, 2, 3, and our, our probabilities of getting 0, so this is what the P of X equaling X is, the probability of getting 0 when rolling three dice and uh, probably getting zero sixes when rolling three dice is 125 out of 216. The probability of getting one six out of uh, rolling three dice is 75 out of 216. Probably get two sixes, 15 out of 216, and getting all three sixes is one out of 216. So this was, this was an example that we did in a previous video, uh, so you may want to uh, pop back and check, it, check that out. That was on the probability distributions. Uh, so we kind of go through how we, how we found these values uh, in this probability distribution table that we just wrote out here. So what are we trying to do? Okay, we're going to try and find the expected value. We're going to try and find the expected value of X, big X. So uh, what would we expect if we rolled these three dice? Um, what value would we expect to get? So what we're going to do, or what we need to remember, though, is that these are all probabilities and that they add up to 1 or 100%, depending on how, how, you're, how you're writing out your numbers. And that's just something to always keep in mind. It's helpful to keep that in mind um, just to make sure that your probability distribution table is complete. If we add up 125, 75, 15, and 1, we get 216, so that, that is all added up to 1. Okay, so... Um, we're looking for the expected value, and the expected value is done when we calculate this big formula up here. So we basically have to find E of X, and that's going to take the possible value, the possible outcome of X, times the probability of getting that possible outcome. So our first one, we're looking at 0, so we're going to take 0 times 125 over 216. So the possible outcome, 0, times the probability of getting that outcome, 125 over 216. And now we're going to add this up to all of the other ones. So we're going to say plus 1 times 75 over 216, plus 2 times 15 over 216, plus 3 times 1 over 216. So we keep on adding up. We get 0 plus 75 over 216, 2 times 15, so that's 30 over 216, and 3 over 216. So when we add all that up, we get 108 over 216, which is the same thing as 1 half, which is our expected value. Now, you're probably thinking, how do you get an expected value of 1 half when the only possible outcomes are integers? They're uh, 0, 1, 2, or 3. Well, we have to remember that when we are calculating the expected value, what we're actually doing is finding the expected mean or the expected average of, of all of the values uh, put together based on the probabilities. So it doesn't necessarily come out to be a whole number, so you could get this uh, half, and then you probably will get some other value than 
what your uh, X values are. Uh, and that just it says over the long run, if we were to take a look at all of these possible values, our average would be one half. So um, that's what we mean when we say expected value. Um, that's how we find expected value and calculate it. So hopefully that helps if you had any questions about this. And um, yeah, talk to you in the next video.